A former Miami police officer learning his fate today. He was sentenced after pleading guilty to shaking down suspects for cash and drugs. Local Tennessee supporter Roy Ramos is live in Fort Lauderdale with the punishment handed down and reaction. And I just got a chance to speak with the city of Miami police chief who tells me this was a 20 year plus veteran who betrayed the badge who they say was shaking down who he thought were drug traffickers. Turns out they were federal agents. Let's show you who we're talking about. 41 year old former city of Miami police officer Fresnel Sanat faced a judge in court today after pleading guilty to charges that included extortion and attempted possession with intent to distribute cocaine. I was there as his family walked out of court and Sanat was sentenced to 130 months in prison, followed by five years supervised probation. That's just roughly over 11 years behind bars. The charges all stem from a criminal complaint where Federal investigators said in early November of last year, Sanat used his unmarked police unit to conduct a traffic stop on a driver who was carrying a large amount of cash and drugs, unaware that that driver was an undercover agent posing as a drug trafficker. Now, documents we obtained state Sanat identified himself as Officer Martez of the Miami-Dade Narcotics Unit and gave the driver the option of either handing over $52,000 in cash or going to jail. After investigators said he took that money, he gave a portion of it to the individual who informed him of the deal. Later that month, agents say he posed as a BSO deputy with their narcotics unit before pulling over an undercover agent in his unmarked unit with lights and sirens blaring. It's then he took seven bricks of fake cocaine and $80,000 in cash. Today we heard from the City of Miami Police Chief Manuel Morales. This is his message to his officers even considering following in Sanat's footsteps. If you ever think about losing your way. If you ever have a thought about betraying the public trust and tarnishing the badge that we all were so proud, this is what will happen. We will find you, we will identify you, and we will put you behind bars. And when I spoke with that police chief, I did ask him along with the U.S. attorney if they believed there were any other officers involved or in cahoots with Sinat. At this point, they tell us they do not believe that is the case. For now, here in Fort Lauderdale, Roy Ramos, Local 10 News.